Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Mac Most Now. You know, some of my friends actually use PCs, not Macs. And every once in a while there's something really cool that they've got that unfortunately there's no Mac version for. Well, one of them is something called Neat Receipts. Now, what Neat Receipts is, is a little scanner and it's a piece of software. And you just take all your receipts, whether it's your lunch receipt from Taco Bell or a business expense from Office Max, you go ahead and you scan in the receipt. It recognizes some of the characters on it and kind of creates a little accounting file for you. And this is a great way to keep track of all your receipts, especially if you've got a small business or if you just want to keep track of your personal expenses. Well, good news is that Neat Receipts is coming to the Mac. They announced this late last year and I got a chance to talk with them at the Macworld Expo. Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. I'm here with Mark from Neat Receipts. Now, Neat Receipts is a program and a scanner that have been available for PC users for a while and now they're finally going to be coming to the Mac. So tell us a little bit about Neat Receipts. Okay, Neat Receipts has been around for about five years and we make a, a product that a lot of people have seen uh, in airports because we have a lot of airport kiosks. We are very good at uh, combining the actions of scanning, OCR, optical character recognition and analysis. So instead of just scanning your receipts, you actually extract the information out of them and put them into a database. Um, we've been looking at doing, the, our users have been demanding a Mac version for quite a while and we've been working since the beginning of the year of, of producing our first Mac version. It's not a port of the Windows version, it's a ground up re-engineering of the same idea. Um, our, first, um, our first version will be shipping at the end of March and will support documents and receipts. A follow on version will add business card support as well and we'll integrate with the address book. What you're looking at right here is a pre-release build. You can kind of see some of the receipts that we've been scanning in during the day here at Macworld. Okay. And um, this is our page view. It's the simplest. You can kind of see things in a, in a table style view. You can edit. It's, a sta it's pretty standard Mac stuff in that sense. We also support a view that's a little bit like iPhoto. You can see all your receipts in little tiles that you can change the size on. You know, so you can see a, a whole bunch of receipts very small or blow them up to the size where they're almost full size. Um, and then the final thing is because, you know, we're uh, a Mac app, of course you have to have cover flow. Um, our scanner is uh, this, uh, this device right here. Um, it's purely bus powered and we're very excited because this is actually a completely new generation of the scanner. We've been shipping with this for about a couple of years now on the Windows side. Um, but we're going to be the first ones, the Mac users are going to be the first ones to see the new hardware in March. The Windows users will have to wait until the end of the fall until they get the new hardware. Excellent. And um, we will, um, we, let me just uh, do a very quick demo okay. if I can grab a receipt here for a second. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Um, when we're not running uh, pre-release software, you'll be able to just push the button on the scanner to do the scan. Right now I actually have to stick it in and click the toolbar button. Okay. Right. Um, but when I do that, the scan the, Pulls the right in. is uh, feeding through. And while it's in progress, you can actually continue to use the app. Um, you can feed receipts through as quickly as they can go through the machine. All of our processing, the OCR, the analysis, all happens in the background. You can even drop 100 PDFs on our app and it'll sit there and grind through it. It'll take a while, but it'll eventually finish. So once it's finished doing the scanning, you can sort of down here, it'll tell you what it's doing. Now it's doing OCR, it's attempting to figure out what the text on this receipt is. Then it generates a PDF which you'll then see there. And then the last thing it does is it looks at that and tries to figure out from the OCR what this receipt is. And you can see from the fields that's extracted right up here that it has figured out that this receipt is a California pizza receipt, that it was January 14th, it was paid for by Visa, and it's a meal restaurant receipt. This particular receipt, it was not able to extract the amount. It's never going to be 100%, but we're actually, our aim is to have about 80% accuracy on all fields. My rule of thumb is that for an average receipt, you'll get two out of three of vendor, date, and amount. And in many cases, as you can see in some of the receipts that we've been scanning in that people have handed us, we get all the information all together. Yeah, this one, the, uh, the total is, is scribbled. At exactly. the bottom, as sometimes it is at a Hand, restaurant. We'll, yeah. ne we'll never be able to do handle. I, I mean, I always yeah. tell people it's it's not easy to OCR thermal receipts. They're poor quality. They get wrinkled. They get folded. They get put in wallets. But we have five years' experience of trying to figure out how to get good data out of really poor quality receipts, and we're pretty good at it. Right. And and the basic idea is, is you can go somewhat more paperless. If uh, you're a business owner like myself. IRS. We are IRS acceptable. You after you after you scan this thing, we've created a PDF. If you want the PDF back out, it's stored inside a package. But if you want it back out, the easy way is just drag it out to your file system. You can drop that anywhere. You can drop a PDF in a mail message, in a file system, onto a flash disk. Any application that'll accept a PDF can accept one of our items. Um, in addition, you will be able to grab an entire collection of receipts and drop that out. And that's more like an expense report. It'll combine all the PDFs of all the receipts together and put a cover page on that has the table with all the data, the total and the like. Well, 
Well, thank you very much. We'll be looking forward to when this when this comes out for the Mac. Thanks. Great. No specific date has been set for the release of Neat Receipts for Mac, but you can go to the website neatreceipts.com and go to the Mac Info page and there you can sign up for more information. I'm looking forward to getting this in the office and testing it out ourselves. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.